Today's video is on prophetic art, and the Lord has been impressing upon my heart about the importance of God's children producing prophetic art in this season and in this time. So the Lord spoke these words to me regarding prophetic art, and I want to read them to you. He said, Art is a creation, and I am a creator. Every stroke of the brush or pen or pencil or charcoal is an expression of creativity. When you sit down with the purpose of creating prophetic art, my Holy Spirit reveals the subject matter and guides you in creating art. The art comes from my heart, says the Lord, to your heart. So I want to say that prophetic art can be paintings, it can be um, drawings, it can be sketches, it can be pottery, metalwork, you know, carvings, sewing, um, whatever it is that, that you do artistically, but you're going to create it with the intent of creating prophetic art and allowing Holy Spirit to guide you. So what I do is I pray before I do any of the paintings and I ask Holy Spirit to guide my brush and he also gives me the subject matter usually in advance before I begin to paint. Now I want to read to you also um, a further word um, regarding prophetic art that the Lord um, spoke to me and I know it will speak to you. He said, the reason that prophetic art is important is because it allows me, the Lord God, to express my heart on earth through my people. Prophetic art is not regular works of art, says the Lord. There are many art galleries that contain beautiful works of artists, but they are created by man for the pleasure of man. Prophetic art is created by my children for my pleasure and to release what I am doing and saying on this earth. He said, do you see the difference? He said, prophetic art created by my children through, through the leading of my Holy Spirit has power to change the atmosphere in the spiritual realm. Just as demonic artwork has the power to change the atmosphere in the satanic realm. That is why the adversary has people erect blasphemets, the Jezebels, the goats, and demonic symbols. This demonic artwork becomes an entrance for which the demonic spirits have access, says the Lord. On the other side is my prophetic art created by my children. Prophetic art becomes an entrance by which my Holy Spirit and my angels can accomplish what I please and prosper in the thing for which I, which I gave the artist to create it for. The Lord said, art is a powerful tool that can be used for my glory or for the demise of man. He said, it is time for the prophetic artist to rise and shine and create my artwork. He said, there are many forms of art to, produ to produce prophetic art. So I want to share with you a few of the pieces of prophetic art that I have painted um, and what the Lord has revealed to me, um, you know, as I have been painting. Now, I have to qualify. I'm fairly new at doing um, prophetic artist paintings. Um, and so anytime I do a prophetic painting, Holy Spirit always shows me the subject matter, um, usually in advance. And in some instances, I'll actually see a vision of what I am to paint. And then the Holy Spirit then places that in my heart to paint. So this first painting that I want to show you is based on Hebrews 11.3 and Revelation 21.1. Hebrews 11.3 says, By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which were seen, which are seen, were not made of the things which are visible. In Revelation 21.1 it says, Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. So I'm going to show you this first painting and explain to you what the Lord had me paint. So I want to get it kind of up close there into the, the camera. And so you can see that I have painted 
uh, the heavens and the and the atmosphere, and I put the name of God Yah in the in the painting. And also, if you look in this particular painting, you'll see here, right over here, that is the new heaven, the or excuse me, the new earth being created by the word of God. And so this was one of the prophetic paintings that I had done. Now I want to read to you what the Lord said to me regarding this particular painting. He said, this painting is prophetic because the new earth is being created in your painting. And he said, blue is the color of my love. And if you saw that, that uh, little round ball or the, the new earth, it was blue. And the Lord said this. Oh, and he said, the gold is the Lord creating the new earth. And the Lord said, I love your painting, child. I have given you the gift to paint prophetically. And he said, do not be concerned that your art does not measure up to gallery art of the world. He said, for your art is in my gallery, says the Lord. And, you know, that's the same message for any prophetic artist. You're not looking to, you know, to, to make some gallery piece that, you know, that's, that's that of the world standards. You're looking to, to release a message from the Lord of what he wants you to, to say or, or to release through your art, whether, whatever medium that may be. And don't be concerned about what other people think uh, of your art because the Lord is saying that whatever you create through the power of the Holy Spirit, whatever prophetic piece that you create, it's in his art gallery. And I want to tell you what, that's, that's more important than being in any gallery here on this earth. Amen? So now the second pe uh, uh, painting that I want to show um, is an eagle that I painted. And the eagle represents the prophet. And right now the prophets of the Lord are rising up with wings of eagles. And they are bringing forth the oracles of God in this season and this time. And, um, and according to the Isaiah scripture, they will run and not be weary and walk and not faint. So this one here is, a, a, is my prophetic um, painting of my eagle. Um, it's flying uh, you know, above the waters. And, um, and again, it represents the, the prophet. Now, the third um, prophetic painting that I, um, that I want to show, in this particular painting, I actually saw it um, in a vision in the spiritual realm before I painted it. So I saw it as a vision, and then I kind of sketched it out, and then I painted it. So in this particular um, uh, picture or prophetic paint, um, it's the hand of God, and his power is being poured out through the earth. Um, through his Holy Spirit. And so in this one, the, the gold hand is Father's hand, and that lightning bolt that you see coming down is his dunamis power um, hitting a river of, of water in the sky. The gold dove uh, represents the Holy Spirit. Um, and uh, this painting, what the Holy Spirit showed me, is what is happening right now and will continue to happen that we will be operating in this dunamis power um, and we will be operating in signs, wonders, and miracles um, beyond anything that we could even like imagine. Uh, and that's where we're heading um, very, very soon. So what I would like to do is I'd like to, to just encourage you um, to, um, uh, you know, if you have any artistic abilities at all, and, and you don't, like I said, you don't have to be an accomplished artist to pr produce, produce prophetic artwork. What you need and who you need is Holy Spirit guiding you and, and, and creating what Father wants you to create. And there are so many forms of art, and you know, you know which one you are drawn to. So begin to let Holy Spirit give you his inspiration for prophetic art. And then just run with it. Just, you know, just produce it and, and just uh, allow the Lord to just rejoice over your art. Allow him to put it in his um, gallery in heaven. Amen. And to, to just remember this, when you do your prophetic art, you are not out to please man with your art. Your purpose is to create um, art for God's pleasure and to release what he is doing and saying on this earth right now and in the future. So I want you to please be encouraged 
um, all of you who are willing to be used by the Lord uh, to produce this prophetic artwork. So I want to leave you with these final words of the Lord. And the Lord said this. He said, I am master creator. I delight in creating every snowflake, every rainbow, every star, every moon, every galaxy, and every person. He said, the joy you feel when you create art is the same joy I have when I create. He said, I created you to be full of joy. And he said, you will carry my joy to the world. Hallelujah.